Hello everybody and I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the substantial drop that we have seen here on Bitcoin, the support that it is currently finding and whether this support is enough to hold us and push up to higher prices. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video uh, where I'm going to be starting with the drop that we have seen over last night and coming into uh, around midday today uh, and how I foresaw this drop coming and uh, explain the signs that were clearly here on the chart to give you a bearish bias okay uh, so let's start off with the the drop that we saw last night okay so primarily while i was sleeping where well, was a big drop and then obviously around midday for me anyway a another drop so uk time um so the drop that happened overnight okay and as you know yesterday i was looking at this 382 level for a critical support if lost the bias for me was definitely bearish and you can see here a clean break through the 382 so that firstly was a was a very bearish sign breaking straight through that obviously wiping off any chance of a fractal breaking through the 382 coming down for a temporary support, back testing here the Champions Channel, moving down to our bottom of the parallel channel, which I really believe was so nice, obviously from the low to the high to the low to the high to the low, rejection off of the midpoint, lower high dropping down here. Okay, on top of that, what else did we see? There was just so much confluence for this drop to be coming. Uh, then again, from the from the last high to low, obviously coming up here, testing the Champions Channel, and once again, well, seeing a rejection, a little bit of a tweezer top here, obviously on the psychological number, that is 8,000, okay? So once lost, you, once you lost 8,000, you come up, back tested 8,000, and that's kind of the rejection high of the sort of the day. Okay, so that was a, a pivotal point. What did you have on top of this? I mean, for me, this was obviously as well, just on Twitter for free, posting out that, you know, I was very much still have my bearish bias and I really did believe that we are going to get another drop on Bitcoin. <laughs> very nice that it came so fast, I'm not going to lie. But uh, obviously, I, I did believe that we were getting this drop on Bitcoin. Uh, on top of that, I also, this was one that I posted in my group, uh, but, uh, oh, well, I guess I posted on Twitter later, but also I foresaw this potential of a bearish uh, butterfly pattern, which would also lead to lower prices of this target being around 7,400. So it's the confluence, obviously, the local, uh, obviously being your local uh, 618 resistance that you saw in the day, 8,000 psychological, obviously you had this bearish uh, harmonic pattern being found. On top of that, I obviously had a bearish Elliott wave count. Uh, so you can safely set on, on top of that, you had the midpoint of the channel. So it was just a whole bunch of confluences here uh, from te a technical side uh, of speaking that you were going to be seeing this drop down. Um, and the speed that it came was, I just guess, icing on the cake for me anyway. Uh, <laughs> and then this, just so you're t being totally transparent, that last night I also posted that I really did believe that, you know, people should be looking to short the, the next rise that you get because the bearish signs were definitely there and the, the, my targets on Ethereum being 130, we haven't hit that yet, we're still sat at around 155 uh, currently and obviously Bitcoin being target of 7,400, okay, 7,450 and we're currently sat at 7,466. Um, very nice indeed, I guess, no? <laughs> uh, so yeah, great to see those sort of targets uh, like playing out and just technical analysis in general really playing out. And this is what I mean, like on the grand scheme of things, on the midterm, I've been very transparent. I really did expect lower prices to come here on Bitcoin. So great to actually see those lower prices come. On the short term, I do believe it was very choppy, but on the midterm, it, it was very clear. Uh, like where, in my opinion anyway, where the next move should be. Obviously, there's no guarantee, but it's nice to see that it did come. <laughs> uh, but now what do we have on the short term here? So the short term, this is again where technical analysis is just, just absolutely great. So what we saw here, okay, what we saw here, let me just adjust this so it's all fitting in the screen for you all. And this was another one, okay? And I just, just be, so people don't say, oh, hindsight, hindsight. Uh, this was another one where we had this opportunity of, of seeing that it was very, looking very weak, okay? As I mentioned, like grinding along support, buyers not showing up. And what you formed here is a little bit of a, well, inside of a channel, you were getting this descending type of triangle. Okay, so obviously lower high, lower high, lower high, clear support on the long, the bottom, but lower highs going into a tested support, dropping down through, dropping right down through this. Okay, and where you eventually found support. And let me highlight this for you all on the Binance chart, because this is where it hit more, let's just say better. Uh, obviously, uh, fibs from low to high, you do hit that on Binance. And this is where it's important to like cross check your exchanges, because now just be aware it's hit on Binance or oh, well, by about um, $13 off. But for me, this is hit. Uh, and then also on BitMEX, you're obviously taking your fibs from low to high. You haven't quite hit it on BitMEX. So it's just something to be aware of. 
you have to be prepared for a potential of another leg down uh, but nevertheless you one has to see that the clear support is definitely coming around here of this uh of this of the 618 and this is what i mean like loving fibonacci obviously when you go from let's just take the fib here fib from high to low obviously getting rejected from the 618 wouldn't have it just been so nice fibs from low to the high coming down to the 618 again and then literally that's stuck between this fib 618 to this 618 i think this is perfect technical analysis and obviously in that you had the descending triangle breaking down and then a little bear flag to follow uh, so all very, very nice indeed, in my opinion. It's, it's trading very well. Uh, so then what do you have now on the short term? Okay, so on the very short term, what we can safely say is, is this is the range to be trading. You can see resistance, well, at the midpoint of this channel, you also got another wick onto it. So 7,485, clear resistance, okay, up to the top of that channel, which is 7,500. Support for me has to be looked at of that 618, as I've just mentioned, which on BitMEX anyway is 7,246, the low of it being 6,792. So an important, important support for me not to be lost is 6,800. And uh, I'm not going to load it up all today, but I'll just show you from what I posted here. Like the Elliott Wave count that also had led me to this bearish bias for a max drawdown. I wouldn't want to see this six. Well, low, low, low. This is obviously, well, depending on your exchange, it's going to be slightly different. But this around 6,800. I, I don't want to be, I don't want to see loss to maintain a bit bullish bias. Because for me, obviously primary count being this is wave one. This is putting in a wave two. And we'll be moving up for higher prices for wave three. Just be aware that what we are seeing right now, it doesn't have to be the very bottom. You can definitely see, an, you know, another wave down from here. But on the short term, uh, all I would like say is, is trade this sort of range that you're in right now. If you start breaking up from this, then you can put a lot of or, or, or more confidence in this being a very pivotal bottom. OK, obviously, if we just range around here and start breaking down from the range again, well, you're naturally you're going to be looking at lower prices again. Um so yeah, that, that's basically how I have been trading Bitcoin uh, on the medium term, still looking at, you know, obviously you have to be aware that there's a, there's the possibility of this dropping down, maybe on BitMEX getting a, a better touch of this 7K region, uh, but on uh, on the on the short term, literally just trade this channel. It's, it's worked very nice since the actual drop. You know, you go straight into uh, range channel mode. OK, then you start getting like little patterns, descending triangles form, breaking down. But, you know, the, the recovery from it has been very good. OK, so you have recovered from that and now back in. You know, you haven't broken into the top of the range, but nevertheless, you are in the uh, at least you broke this kind of descending triangle trend line notable but obviously there's no, no reason to start getting overexcited really uh you know let's try and firstly claim 7500 getting back into 77 or 75 uh 76 uh for me a cr critical resistance uh that i would put a lot of more confidence in this being a potential you know bottom is breaking back above 7800 you break that and i put a lot of confidence in this being a bottom right now uh range bound Re really really range bound okay i would like to this to be a bottom but um yeah i wouldn't put too much confidence in it while it's ranging within this uh parallel channel okay so i hope that this video has helped you uh helped you like get an insight uh, get an insight into my brain of why i foresaw this drop coming obviously just to you know clarify again it was the bearish harmonic pattern that i identified my elliott wave count the channel the losing of yesterday's straight two which totally wiped out the fractal these were oh the the, the the parallel channel itself obviously getting rejected from the midpoint the local 618 so it's just like a whole confluence of factors of why this you know really really led to me believing we were going to be breaking down today uh, on, on top of that, just the fact that everything was looking very weak, um, you know, just, yeah, I, I was just very confident in this breakdown. Uh, this was a, this was a better fracture, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope that you have all enjoyed this video, um, giving you a little bit of insights into how I've traded that, how I was trading this and how I am now looking to trade this. OK, so. Currently, I'll be trading this range. Would like to see a, a little bit of a move up above 8,000, 7,800 for me get, for me to get confident in a bottom. If we just maintain in this range and start breaking down, I will look towards that, you know, 7,2, 7K again. Um, you know, obviously being the low of that 618. So I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. Keep your eye on this on the on the medium term. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, I, as always, thoroughly appreciate a like. And if you would like to get some of the insights that, uh, you know, obviously great to get those sort of heads up, I guess. Obviously, you can come across to chartchampions.com and, uh, you know, take a look at what I have to offer here. Um, 
on top of that, I'm not going to go over the other trades because I also traded very well basic attention token gain and XRP. Uh, <laughs> but I'll keep that for another video. I think that's enough for today. Uh, so I hope that you've enjoyed this and I'll catch you in the next analysis that I put on here. So cheers, everybody. And thank you and uh, enjoy your evening. Enjoy trading this absolutely lovely volatility. Honestly, for me, it's just I absolutely, absolutely love this. So thank you again and uh, have a good night. Cheers. Bye.